Luke Hodge here and today we're talking about Apple and this is anything to do with my iPad by the way, it's about my iPod, um, a YouTube video about, I think it was the second um, video I put on my YouTube account when it nearly first opened and here's my iPod, it's three years old and um, this is the old cable here, as you see it's had a pretty hard life and and of the way I was using my iPod, it was near enough my only thing. I had an Android tablet, but it crashed a lot and it took so long to charge and other things. So I got more use out of my iPod at the time. And by the years and years, um, until I came to this year a few weeks ago, you'd have to bend the wire or in a certain place to, to charge. And in the night, it would just unfold again and not charge at all. And then when I woke up, I didn't have half a cent battery because it was... This is so dodgy, but the video is today basically. Um, um, would, would is Tesco, would is Tesco's um, lightning cable does it work? Basically, does Tesco lightning cable work? Now we're going to find out today, but first of all, I'm going to do a quick unboxing. So I'll Here see for the unboxing. First of all, as you see, it's got very standard packaging, and as you see, it's just got a clear through window with. Um, the box it it says on the box so like most of them does it says made for um, iPod and iPhone and iPad and when I came into the store I did read over it to make sure it is so um, there's one there okay that's the information if you ever wanted to read that I put it on the screen now so if you want to buy this product if it works in this video you can do so and okay, so you can tell and just in case you can kind of change the pictures and say it does work um as you see charging and syncing okay but anyway let's do the unboxing and um, first of all um i'm gonna undo this um it doesn't have a seal it's a very um, it's a very standard packaging in this box as you see here um as you see there um i'm gonna take the top the bottom's easier to actually do you just pull it straight out if you can um, get your nails in the right place, as you see there, um, out it comes. As you see, it's got a plastic back on the top. You just got to basically peel that, take that off. It doesn't hold with any tape. And here is the cable. Now I'm gonna be really careful with the packaging because just in case this doesn't work, I want to get my 14 pounds back. If you want to get one of these, it's 14 pound. See Tesco there on the end, and USB symbol on the end. It was backwards, but that's how it'd look like in the box if it's been done really neatly but as you see look it looks um very good um very good packaging and it's also got better and the square ones i don't really like it's a they're a little bit harder to the grip more like this by the hand it's a little bit easier to unplug so i'm pretty happy with this cable we just gotta see now if it works so if you want to join me and then just okay as you see there there's my usb hub and that's the thing right here as you can see um, here's the cable as you see, um, oh shoot, sorry guys, I haven't really got a try a pod for this job. Um, let me just, um, get the connected pod. Okay, guys, there's apology when my, um, homemade tripod or sort of thing sort of collapsed and I near broke my new iPod. Look, luckily though it didn't. As you see, here's the end of the cable here with the apple. Not the Apple cable, the um, Tesco cable. I'm going to plug it into my U Anchor USB hole, but you can get this off Amazon. You can get a black one, it's actually cheaper, but at the time um, when I bought mine, it was actually cheaper. But now they put the prices up a bit, so luckily. But I think you're looking at for um, the white one, £19.99, what I paid for. Um, the black one was used to be was very expensive, but now it's dropped down quite increasingly to 18 pounds so if you want to get one of these hubs i recommend them because they're really handy if you've only got two plugs in your know, room or your dorm or college room or or a flat or wherever else um anyway um since we've just plugged that in um i'm gonna take you live i'm just gonna unplug my 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 very my programming and messing about windows xp left that top that i just used for messing about with but as you see here here's the cable I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it into my iPod and hopefully as you see Tesco 
and hopefully when I plug this in it doesn't fry my iPod and so it'll be approved heads on 100% charged yes it's a success and as, as you see here Tesco it's not a joke it's going around and around back up there so as you see there that's a that is a fully working and also a set and the iPod are set but um I'm gonna do this in a part two thing if you're interested but um I'll show you um um it works on the iPad as well um after I swapped it over but as you see there that was a fully working um um third party cable that works so if you're in the UK and you can go to your local Tesco you can or you can order this off Tesco's website um they always see um, www dot or just tesco dot dot co dot uk or just Tesco basically put your web searcher and it'll come up and this cable does work surprisingly so I'm very happy and I'm definitely gonna probably be throwing this old cable away but anyway it's had a good life um it has you it has had three years of use and I have used it a lot so anyway that's my unboxing and review and it just shows it work but as you see there thank you guys for watching please comment subscribe and see you in the next video bye